Dennis, you said you were confident of coming here to get the win to end Solihull's unbeaten start, and you've achieved that very aim today. Yeah, we knew we had a great chance because the you know the tactics we employed last week served us so well with the discipline, and was really unfortunate to lose one 0 last week. So we just thought if we can put the same performance in, keep the tactics the same. It's down to us to take a chance this week. We, we thought we could keep a clean sheet or, you know, keep their chances down to a minimum. And that's the way it's panned out. You know, we defended magnificently well. And Dal Savile, you know, does what he does best, pops up and gets us a winner. It was a very even first half. Did you have a nagging feeling it might just go the same way as last week? Or were you always confident that your team could deliver this time? Oh, you know, we said to them at half time, just keep doing what you're doing. And if you end up with a nil nil, you end up with nil nil. You know, nil nil away to Solio would be a fantastic result. But there will be a chance, and I said to Dow at half time, Dow, you know, read them papers tomorrow and see that it's 1 0 Boston and you've got the goal. And that's the difference between good centre forwards and fantastic centre forwards, is getting the one goal and a 1 0 win in a big game like today. He's not done that. And that's the difference, I suppose. You didn't take your chances last week. You probably had more last week and didn't take them. Today, you've had one golden chance and scored it. Absolutely, you know, and that, that's what wins football matches. All the possession in the world don't win you nothing. It's what you do with the possession, and you know, we we conceded possession in both of these games of football because we know how good Solly are and what they can achieve if you if you give them space. So we denied all the space. We sat deep. The most important thing was to keep the energy going forward to support Dow, and we broke countless times. The final ball weren't quite there, but eventually Jay Rollins got a fantastic crossing, and Dow's poked in at the back stick. So absolutely chuffed the bits for him. And every team has to lose it some point but what message does this send out on your behalf to the rest of the division? Well, just that we're capable, you know, we've, we've had a good run. I think that's 23 points now in the last 11 games, so that's over two points a game and we're in good form. So I'm looking forward to the second half of the season and there's no reason why we can't make the playoffs. You don't play next week as it stands, is that a good thing or not? Presumably not, given the last two games, Alfreton and Solihull, you've had two really good away wins. Yeah, I mean, you know, away games are the hardest of all and Alverton and Solio now getting back-to-back -back wins in the league is fantastic. We want to keep playing, we want to keep winning, you know, we've got a fit enough squad now to play at least once a week and we want to keep playing games and winning football matches. We don't want to let this momentum go. You know, last year our momentum was in the last 10 games which got us in. We want to have now 20 games of football with that momentum and get us in. So we do want to keep playing, that's for sure, but um, we haven't got a game so we'll rest up and prepare the best we can for Stockport. And Stockport, as you mentioned, 19th of December, big home game to finish before Christmas. They're on a bit of a sticky run at the moment. You're in form, plenty to offer for anyone coming down to watch that day. Yeah, well, look, we'll take each guy as it comes. Every game is difficult in this league. doesn't matter who you're playing, unless you go and score five goals in half an hour or something. So every game's tough. It go, can go either way when we play Stockport. If we take our chances and defend well, we'll win. It's as simple as that. You know, we've got a team capable, as you've seen today and last week, of beating anybody on their day. So we've just got to keep that kind of performance, commitment and character desire and discipline, they're all the things you need to win football matches consistently and we've done that the last two weeks against the top side so if we do that again at home against Stockport where we'll be more adventurous then hopefully we'll, we'll go and get another three points. And Mo Adams your latest sign and it could be short term, it could be however long we don't know yet, perhaps it just depends on how he fares, does it in training and, and matches that are coming up? Yeah, we'll just keep looking at him. There's a 21 game this week that we'll have another look at him in. He'll be training with us and um, we'll see how it goes. At the moment, he's registered with us. It's down to him to earn a contract. So, you know, he looks like he's got a fantastic attitude. He wants to do well. You know, most players, when they come out of the league, want to join a, a good club, which he has joined. And now it's down to him to earn a deal. But, you know, he didn't let himself down today. When he's gone on, he's listened to his instructions and he's done what you need to do for the team. So, if he, if he carries on like that, then hopefully he'll do well.